Uh, Space Tom asks, what does Daniel Cormier gain from taking the Stipe Miocic rematch before retiring? Solidifying the legacy. I mean, this would solidify the legacy is not only, uh, you know, number two best light heavyweight ever, which is not a bad thing, but number two best light heavyweight ever, and that he can say he is the greatest heavyweight fighter of all time. Yeah, you might have wanted him to have a longer run, but if he can beat the arguably the best ever twice, added on to his already really good resume at heavyweight, the Frank Mir, uh, Josh Barnett, uh, uh, Dirk Lewis, to say that you're the maybe the probably the greatest heavyweight of all time, second best light heavyweight ever. I mean, damn, solidifying the legacy as a top five all time greatest fighter. Simply put, beating him, fighting him again, solidifies the all time legacy. You know what? He um, it would solidify that legacy, but I think that legacy is already kind of solid. You've already knocked out Stipe Miocic in the first round. It's already been done. Uh, Daniel Cormier himself said that this is something he probably will not improve upon. He's taking this rematch out of a sense of, of fairness and honor, and that's, that's great, you know, and that kind of speaks to the sort of person that Daniel Cormier uh, seems to be. But I don't really see the point in this fight for him. If you've already finished that man in the first round and you know you're not going to improve upon this, and there are other fights out there that probably would make you more money and probably be more intriguing, more challenging. Um, I, I I wonder why you're not taking that. Like, you know, if I were Daniel Cormier, I'm I'm gunning for for Jones three. I'm gunning for uh, Francis Ngannou. I, I'm I'm gunning for a name that's probably going to put more money in my pocket uh, than than the Stipe Miocic rematch. That's probably what I'm looking at here. But what you said is is pretty um, pretty legit. I mean, Cormier is definitely a guy who thinks about his legacy. He's a guy who who has called himself the greatest fighter of all time uh, on a couple of occasions, and and has a claim to that to to that throne. And this wouldn't hurt. It certainly wouldn't hurt to go out there and get another win over over Stipe. 